Hey Georgina, I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today, more than ever, we need to help support our local businesses. So today I'm meeting with owner of Shep's Hair Boutique right here in Keswick. Hi Nicole! Hello. How are you? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks so much for having us here today. Thanks for coming. So, today I wanted to start by talking a little bit about the pandemic and how it's affected your business here. When we closed out, I was closed for uh, three months from doing hair. Wow. Um, so that hit me really hard, but while I was closed, I started making some products myself. Started making scrunchies by crocheting them. And I started making all natural wax melts out of beeswax and soy um, with essential oils. Oh, amazing. Is this the stuff right here? This is them, the candles and the wax melts. So you can put them in a wax warmer so you can um, scent your house with them without lighting a candle. Or if you want to light a candle, you have that option oh, as well. Beautiful. So it kind of gave you an alternative to, to keeping your business alive while you were while you were closed. Yes, and then I also did the self-care surprise bags that I was delivering to um, people's doorsteps. They ordered them with these products as well as some RAS products and Hello Your House creation products in the bag. So it was three local businesses all kind of coming together. So what changes have you had to make in terms of the hair salon? Uh, since the pandemic? Well, it actually looks completely different in here than it did before I shut down for the pandemic. Originally, I had three chairs along this wall and I would do more than one client at a time. Sometimes I had up to three people going. But now I'm doing by appointment only. Um, I try to keep it the best as I can one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but before I was even able to open up as a hair salon again, the town let me open as a retail store. So I completely took all my chairs out, had one retail shelf before, and I brought in another five shelves and brought in way more retail than I ever had. Wow. And I actually even changed my name during all of this. And that's when you changed it to Shep's Hair Boutique. Exactly, because I was trying to have it a little bit more retail focus. The fact that the town allowed you to open as a retail store and you were able to get creative and you know, find another another revenue. That's that really is amazing. So, what are some of the other vendors that you do carry in store? So, I have RIS Natural Healing, which is another locally based company. She makes all sorts of natural products from CBD oil, chin care line, deodorant, body sprays, amazing bath bombs. And another one I have is the Hellier House Creations. She started making these. Uh, lovely masks during the pandemic. She also has some children's hats here um, and she's stocking me up in the next few days with some more exciting products as well. Great. If we do get shut down again I'll probably be doing the surprise bags to be yeah. dropping off. And it's all online too right you can buy your products online so if you need anything you can message my Instagram or my Facebook page. And, and they, can deliver. they do curbside pickup? Curbside or I'll deliver. Oh well. great. Yeah. Great, okay. And uh, with the holidays coming up, I heard uh, you have something special in store. Can you fill us in on that secret? Yes, come December, I am going to be doing secret Santa bags. So you can order them through my Facebook page or um, my phone number, which will be posted online. And they're basically a secret Santa bag you can order full of products that you you actually won't know what's in there, but it, it's all surprise. good. It's a surprise. You can either order it for yourself or you can order it to be dropped off to one of your friend's houses in Georgina. And I will be delivering them every Sunday and Monday until Christmas. I love that you have so many products in store that are local and they're not just your business. You help support so many other local businesses. And, you know, right now more than ever, it's, it's something we're all trying to help each other do is support local and try to get people to shop locally. You have awesome ideas in store for, for Christmas. And you're also in some other local places as well, too. Yes, I actually have all of my candles and wax melts. I've made a coffee version for Alpita. So I've made candles with um, their coffee infused. Great. It's so good. All the community working together to try to help each other's businesses. Thanks so much for having us here, Nicole, today. Can you tell everyone where you're located and how to find you online? I'm located at 196 Church Street in Keswick, and you can find me online on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. 
at Shep's Hair Boutique. Christmas around the corner, Shep's has all the things in store for your holiday gift giving ideas. By supporting locally, you're helping support our community. So let's get local, Georgina.